Good morning guys from this beautiful island on Copenhagen. Yes, I am again in front of my beach, but guys, I'm not going to walk my beach. I have a beautiful place this day today, but I'm going to jump on my scooter and then drive to this beautiful place and then show you this amazing view over there. So keep watching the video till the end because you will love it. We are going to talk about the Bitcoin price. This indicator that is now saying we could see a small pullback, but which always lead to a huge run up after. It has to do with energy. We are also going to talk about Venezuela. We are going to talk about Canada, where Bitcoin companies now are regulated. Is this good or not? You will hear my opinion on this. And also talking about anonymous targeting, the police station now in Minneapolis. So let's go and enjoy this beautiful jungle place now. Let's jump into the jungle, guys. Whoa. Good morning guys, where am I? I am in the middle of the jungle of Kopangan and I am going to walk to this viewpoint up there somewhere. It should be a beautiful viewpoint. I hope it's open, it's very early. Um, it's a local guy built this tree house style thing and I want to visit it and show you guys this beautiful view. While doing so I will walk up and uh, tell you a little bit updates about the news in Bitcoin and all that stuff. So let's go and walk up guys. Because if it comes to walking up, let's check the Bitcoin price. Oh my God, the Bitcoin price is up. We just passed the 10K again with a huge green candle. This green candle is above 10,100 now. Wow, this is a huge increase in price in the last month, guys. Can we keep growing up um, from here? This is the question that everybody is asking, of course. With this huge peak, I think 90 million dollar got liquidated on bitmax only so that's a lot of people that are playing the short uh, long leverage game that lose a lot of money because bitcoin makes these insane runs and crashes so be aware it's not always safe to play these leverage games because it's just you need to have a lot of knowledge to judge the market right if we look guys at um, some indicators the one really cool indicator it's called the Bitcoin energy value this one at the moment is heavily overpriced last time it was as overpriced as this was like September 2019 and mostly when it is overpriced after the halving it predicts a huge bull up but be aware we can first see this small drop if we look, like, look back to the 2016 halving, we can see this indicator dipping below the Bitcoin price, taking the Bitcoin price down for 27% before Bitcoin starts this insane two year bull run. So we could see one more dip to 7, 8K ish before we can see this huge Bitcoin bull run again, if it comes to this indicator. This red line, you can see it, is just crossing down into our price. So if, we'll, if it will cross below the price and will drop, then the price will drop with it a little bit before it goes up again in this bull run. Just compare it to the 2016 situation on the left side. I'm out of air because it's like very humid here in the jungle, guys. And this is exactly what we also can see in the weekly candles, guys. In the weekly candle, we can also see that the Bitcoin price at the moment might be a little bit too high because if we look at the weekly candles, there are a few indicators telling us that we could see a correction. We can see the TD topping out at the nine. This is the indicator that Tone Vase uses a lot. If you want to have more information, then I would suggest to follow Tone Vase on this indicator because I just don't have the knowledge about that one, but it's stopping out. And that mostly tells we are in for a correction. We can see the stock RSI also crossing down. That's a bearish cross down. So it is also telling us we will see a correction. And then last but not least, you can see this hidden divergence, which also could lead to a correction. So if we look at the weekly charts and the things I have been talking to you about the last uh, couple of weeks, um, also, you know, the chart of uh, Lisa, 9k was the bottom line but we can have of course a wick into the 8k region many signs telling us that we see a correction but you never know with bitcoin bitcoin can move in crazy ways and we can just see 
Bitcoin up running from here till 11,200, 11,500, 13,000. We just don't know. We can only look to the left and analyze what the history told us and we can see that Bitcoin mostly had a pullback and when these indicators popped up on the charts. So be aware, be happy, Bitcoin broke 10K, but also be aware Bitcoin can come down from this a little bit, but that's exactly why you need to use US Dollar Theater, DAI or Paxful to buy some more beautiful Bitcoins at cheaper prices because we are going to see this bull run happening in the next one and a half, two years guys. So it's going to slowly increase from here. Maybe now we will near this point where we finally can buy Bitcoin for the last time below 10K. I know many people have been saying this many times, but maybe we are nearing this point where we can buy Bitcoin now really for the last time below 10K. Did you read the news guys about Venezuela? Venezuela now beautiful makes it possible for the people there to pay their gasoline, their fuel with the petro cryptocurrency. They still need to figure out the technical details because not everybody is able to use the petro wallet and it needs to be connected to some kind of a petro connection to a banking system. But then when that is all figured out, then the people in Venezuela don't have free fuel anymore because they have free fuel now, but they will need to pay petro for it. The, the fuel price is like two and a half cents the liter, but also understand that the minimum wage in Venezuela is five bucks. So the fuel is still expensive for those people, but luckily they can now use this beautiful stable currency, Petro. There's a centralized stable currency issued by the Venezuelan government, but they can use a cryptocurrency to pay for fuel. Kind of mass adoption, but not the mass adoption we're really, really looking for because it should be a decentralized cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, guys. Which brings me to the next point because in Canada now, Bitcoin companies are regulated and people seem to be happy about this. So the crypto community that is fighting the traditional monetary system has now evolved to a community that is happy because Bitcoin, Bitcoin companies have become regulated companies in Canada. I can't figure out what these guys all are thinking. Maybe it's good for them, but I still have this bad taste in my mouth when I hear this word regulations and KYC and maximum 10K exchange because else they need to tell the government that the people exchange more than 10,000 US dollars. All these rules is not the reason why I got into Bitcoin. So I can't understand why these people in Canada now are very happy that Bitcoin companies are being regulated. I didn't know that this was the goal of Bitcoin. I thought Bitcoin needed to disrupt the traditional monetary system and now not just become part of this traditional monetary system. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just a revolutionist guy, maybe I'm just a weirdo with long hair on this beautiful island in Copangan. But in my opinion, guys, um, I didn't step into this beautiful evolution of technology because this beautiful revolution um, to become partners of this traditional financial system i am here to disrupt this financial system i am here to take power back to the people i am here to protect my capital and i'm not here to give up all my privacy of spending by doing all these kyc's by doing all these stuff that now you need to do to buy some bitcoin in canada I cannot be happy with this. Maybe these guys in Canada are different. They are happy with this. I'm happy for them that they are happy with it. But guys, just not my goal in crypto. Um, respect that you achieved your goals in life and your goals in making Bitcoin, this uh, regulated stuff in Canada. Uh, happy for you guys. But hmm, I probably won't use your service. Then guys, I also want to tell you guys, Anonymous is waking up again. I saw Anonymous slowly making videos the last couple of weeks again after a lot of their members have been arrested in the last couple of years but now they are coming back again and they are making a huge entrance again because they just hacked how do you say this Minneapolis police in america you know the guys that killed person that they couldn't breathe anymore and now anonymous has hacked the police and i think they took like 37 email addresses passwords and all that stuff so 
that's the first thing they announced that they got so maybe they already got in deeper and got more stuff and videos and all kinds of stuff so let's see what anonymous is doing i always was like fascinated by anonymous how this huge group of people could be hacking all these instances without nobody ever finding out who they are and um, let's see what they will do with this stuff exciting moment what is going to happen in, a, in america yesterday i made a tweet uh, about was the high uh, white house being invaded a lot of people need to laugh because it was not the white house guys i have never been to washington i have never been to the united states um, except for las vegas which probably is not the united states so i have never seen the white house in, in, in real the white building with the pillars looked like the wild white house and people were like invading it so i tweeted oh guys is the white house being invaded and then people started to, to, to tweet of course Didi, delete this tweet delete this tweet because it's not the white house it's not the white house so i deleted the tweet what a stupid tweet of me sometimes you do these stupid things i bring you to the top of this beautiful uh, viewpoint where i probably can enjoy this water or a coffee and i will share these beautiful views with you guys different levels where you can sit and hang out. If you see me sitting like this, guys, could you live like this? Beautiful in these mountains, in this wooden house, self-made, with these amazing views behind you. This is minimalism. Could you do it? Could you be living like this? I think I could. With some mosquito nets, of course, but yes. very quiet, relaxed, beautiful. Just to enjoy, guys. We can even go up. Let's try to Yes, I know what you're thinking. Oh, look Tarzan there in the jungle. Yeah, with these hairs, I look like Tarzan in the jungle. I even feel like Tarzan in the jungle when I'm here. This is so beautiful. People just build their own place here. Up on this beautiful hill. Have to go to the top. You want Bitcoin to go to the top? So I should go to the top. It's really slippery, so I really need to watch my steps. Oh. It's very beautiful. Higher and higher.
up even more. Let's see what is there. Oop. I just talked to a Swedish guy who is building his house and living here. This is a dream I had when I was younger. Whew. So I totally respect people that live like this. Just so beautiful, like self-sustainable, eco style on top of the jungle of Kopangan with these amazing views. What more do you want? Life can be so simple, guys. Just enjoy the small things of life, then it will be way more easy to enjoy life. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. So while enjoying this view, he told me there's another tree house all up there. Do you see the blue? Do you see the blue? That's where I'm taking you. And I left my flip-flops down, so I'm walking very slowly because I'm walking barefooted. And I don't want to cut my foot again, because then I will be out of the running the next couple of days. And I don't want this, so slow. He told me nobody is here, so I could go and see. People seem to live here just for a couple of weeks to get back to nature. Check this stairway. I need to climb for you guys, for my followers. I do everything. Because it looks really unstable. I can show you why it looks unstable. This tree is not leaning on top again, guys. You come in this beautiful tree house, very small tree house. But somebody used to live and sleep here just in the middle of nature, just to have this amazing view. At this point in the video, guys. I really need to ask you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel <laughs> and share it and click the bell button. I am even sweating more than now I do on the beach, guys, and all for you. And to show you how beautiful Kopangan can be, how luxury it can be, but also how minimalistic it can be by people that live just in the jungle like this. I'm now going to have a coffee downstairs with this guy um, that built the house downstairs and just chat with him for a few minutes so the video today will be a little bit later but that's just because i'm enjoying this silence enjoying this nature and enjoy these people that uh, have the same goals in life like me and it's not becoming millionaires but just living life enjoying life so i'm gonna walk you down again let's see if i'm able to not break my legs while walking down this beautiful stairs and yes guys i am down and i'm going to go for a coffee now because I deserved it. Jesus, what do you do for followers, man? <coughs> nah, I do it for myself as well. Ah, bare feet, not nice. Because guys, I just love to explore. It's still early, it's like eight o'clock in the morning or 8.30 at the moment. And I'm walking through this jungle and I didn't know what I would find. And I thought I would go to this viewpoint and then I find the family living there a little bit higher. A guy living there from Sweden and that guy tells me, upstairs used to live a guy as well. Um, 
to these adventures, these things that are not planable, that is what gives me the energy in life. That is what makes me love this life. Just go with the flow, just try. And I wake up this morning and said, yeah, I'm going to do that one. And then you just feel and you go. And then when you go, you feel, you find all these beautiful things crossing your path in life. Can you imagine me still going to a traditional job where you get up at seven, start to work at eight till five behind the desk? I don't see that happening again. Um, maybe slowly you start to understand why, if you look these videos I am making. Too much freedom in my body, too much freedom in my mind. They will never tie me down to a desk again, never again. I had a great conversation with Chris, who lives up there in the treehouse. I met this guy and we have the same path of histories. If It's a really cool how you can meet people like this in the middle of the jungle, in a treehouse, talk about life and then you discover you know all the same people that were living in Malta, doing the same kinds of business I have been doing. And we just connected and I think we will connect some more in the future because we have our paths uh, crossed today, but these paths will cross again because we started talking about the new types of possibilities in the Bitcoin and also in the gambling world and all that stuff. Hmm. I always get ideas, even in this beautiful jungle here in Koh Phangan. Thank you, Chris. If you watch this video, thank you, man, for the coffee. Thank you for the time and hope to see you soon again and talk some more cool life business stuff. I want to ask you guys, please comment below, could you live in a beautiful place like this? A tree house, fully open, fully accessible for everybody, um, outside shower, toilet and all that stuff. Could you live like this for, let's say, a year? Just pull back into a jungle, live there for a year. Of course, you have the ability to go with your motorcycle to a town. Chris was on the background, guy just passing by there. Could you live like this? Let me know because I really want to know if you're able to do this. Sell everything, live in a minimalistic lifestyle and just invest in Bitcoin and wait for Bitcoin to moon again. Comment below or fill the poll. I want to thank you very much for watching this video again. I hope you liked the information. I hope you enjoyed the views. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so you'll be notified in every new video. And yes, I would love you to share it with your communities because that will make our channel grow even more. And that's what we need. We need our channel to grow more. We want to reach 10K followers with a nanny view so we can monetize the channel a little bit more so we can share with people all over the world. Thank you and see you tomorrow again from this beautiful island, Copangan, where you never know where you ran into. If you just zoom out in crypto and zoom in in life and live this life to the fullest every single minute of the day and just go with the flow, Crazy things like this one today might happen to you. You might run into people that can lead to a new adventure in life. You might run into people that you would never expect to meet in the top of a hill in the jungle in a tree house. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.